Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show the importance of coming in perpendicular to the anatomy. And this is very important if you're doing such cases as SI screws or any kind of pelvic fixation. So the goal of this is that when we are truly perpendicular and we go onto our axial imaging, such as inlet outlet, we want to make sure that we are maintaining that same plane and we're not crossing over the anatomy. So what I have here is a pair of parallel parallel bars and I have a washer attached to the center of the intensifier. So if I'm truly perpendicular, what I should have is the washer should maintain its position inside of those lines. So here we'll go live and I'll go ahead and apply some tilt. So here you can see we are tilting and the washer is staying in between those bars. And then we're going to go and tilt the other way. Again, the washer maintains its position. So that shows us that we are truly perpendicular. So now I have made a correction to my anatomy where I've turned my parallel bars at an angle. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same tilt and let's see what happens to the washer now. So as I go live and then apply the tilt, we see that the washer starts to migrate towards the lines. And then as we tilt the other direction, Again, we can see that washer now start to migrate towards the other line. So as I come back up center. So what if we took this image here and let's say this was a spine and the surgeon asks, can you rotate that image to straighten it up? So if we go ahead and do that, so we rotate the image on too far. It's an older machine, so I don't get to preview the rotation. So here we have the anatomy 12 to 6. So now we feel that our, our anatomy is anatomically um, running 12 to 6. But if I now apply that same tilt, we can see that the washer again migrates. So even though I have made the image look better, I haven't corrected to show a, a true perpendicular image. So if we're coming through for axial imaging or coming through for our lateral, um, it's, not, it's not going to be correct. So what we have actually done is created a falsehood in the image. So if we come back to our original picture, what the, act, what the true correction would be, would be obviously we can't move the anatomy because the patient is presumably sterile. So we would actually have to rotate our base. Uh, let's try and get that lined up here. So we have to rotate the base to get it perpendicular. So hopefully we'll get 12 to six from here and then as I come back here too much a little bit there just want to get this centered up for you okay so now I'll just slide a little bit south so we can see the washer free of superimposition So now, hopefully, when I apply my tilt, that washer should stay within those lines and not really travel. Go live. And here you can see the washer does indeed stay within those lines. So that now confirms that I have came a true perpendicular to the patient. So moral of the story is, if you're doing precision imaging, this is for permanent fixation. So rather than rotate the image to 12 to six, advise the surgeon why you need to correct the base and you'll probably find that they will be very supportive of that decision and that will make the rest of the case a whole lot easier.